What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I am back again with another motherfucking morning inspirational video. Dang, couldn't even get that right. What's up, y'all? Grand Rising. I hope y'all looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. If you are my members, if you sign up for members, you will get a bonus morning inspirational video. Um, so, you know, shout out to all my members. If you want to become one, you already know what to do. Just put it in the comments and I'll send you guys the link. So, what's coming in for January 23rd for my Scorpios? What do y'all need to know at this time? What is the energy? All right. I know this symbol. I read it before, so that's not that. I got to figure out which one is this one. All right, whose zodiac sign is this? Let's see. Okay, so we fucking with a Taurus today. We fucking with a Taurus today, y'all. Two, two, two. All right, I'm going to read the number two. Everything's fine and will continue to be so. Keep believing, especially since your feelings of hope lead to more positive outcomes, Scorpio. The angels are by your are by you and have faith. If you ask for help, they'll help you. Okay, so Scorpio, you could be seeing number two. And they're basically telling you that everything is fine and will continue to be so. Keep believing, especially since your feelings of hope lead to more positive outcome. All right. So Scorpio, just know that your life is leading to a more positive outcome um a tourist could be thinking about you today or you could run into a tourist let me tell you what that energy is surrounded by <clears throat> oh that's the dream book yeah i gotta be like what the fuck where the book at okay All right, so today it says the mixed bag seems to be linked to a combination of Mars and a full moon, which is coming on the 25th. Because although this person has many blessings and can be on the receiving end of many karmic benefits, not everything in his or her life is easy to live with or live up to. Okay, so Scorpio, this is basically saying that people could perceive your life as a fucking bag of blessings, okay? But just to look at your life does look like a bag of blessings, and you do receive a lot of blessings, but there's a lot of karmic energy that you have to work through that people do not see, okay? And this could be in your love life. This could be just being judged as a person. You have a lot of karmic lessons that you have to work through, and I think some of y'all do it internally not externally okay so it's like when you go through things my fart my, my bad for the um damn somebody could have farted like right when you was walking somewhere you like damn the air stink you know they're like no i pass gas okay <laughs> anyway so but um so just be careful like you could be walking somewhere you just could be walking into somebody passing gas which is just kind of you know what they're gonna say i'm not sorry to start this in the morning but it's just crazy all right, because although this person has many blessings and cannot be on the receiving end of many karmic benefits. So, Scorpio, you could want to get yourself attached to somebody. You could want to be around somebody. A hundred could be very significant. Um, and the thing about this is you can't be attached to this particular person because this person has a lot of negative karma. So it's like you're going closer to this person is giving you negative karma. You know, if this person touch you, it could irritate your skin. If this person do something to you, it can make you feel funny or queasy or whatever the situation may be. Um, but not everything in his or her life is easy to live with or live up to so somebody could be li looking at you like damn everything you do is just easy but it's not you go through a lot of 
uh, internal pains, internal struggles, but you won't broadcast that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of people think like, oh, you're just so happy. It is important for you to stay and maintain with a high vibrational frequency in order for you to get what the fuck you want. A lot of people don't think that. They're like, oh, you too fucking happy all the time. A lot of people when I was growing up used to say that to me. And I'm like, fuck you, okay? That's why I'm still happy. Because if you make good habits of always redirecting your energy and understanding that everything is going your way no matter what the fuck nobody say, everything do end up going your way no matter what nobody say. So make sure you hold on to mantras that are going to give you the best out come not the ones that are debbie downers all right all right so if a taurus is in your energy today scorpio let's see what the fuck they need to talk about all right female and all scorpio is dealing with a taurus how they feel about my scorpios okay it says i dive in and out of relationships so this person is really looking at they self scorpio about how they be in and out how they be hot and cold and they could be thinking about how they did this to you you know what i'm saying and they like damn maybe i shouldn't have moved like that with scorpio because scorpio kind of solid okay scorpio somebody could be feeling like your motherfucking ass do that you know one minute they know where you at and then your abracadabra ass gone they're like damn scorpio where you at when you coming back all right scorpio if you are dealing with a taurus and this is your friend is strictly platonic what you need to know for today and it don't have to be a taurus y'all it could be anybody that you fucking with the taurus energy is very hard-headed so this person is very stuck in their ways they in and out of a relationship and they could feel like you're like this okay they could think this of your motherfucking ass because this shit same sideways so this person feel like you in you out you hot you cold okay but you got to pay attention to who is consistent and who is not consistent all right, so if you're dealing with the Taurus and they're your friend, it's Platonic Scorpio. This person really feel like you guided them. You gave them clear guidance to learn, expand, uh, develop. This person also think that you level up like a motherfucker. This person addicted to watching you too if this is a Taurus and you got a channel or something. So this Taurus feels like you really guided them. This person also feels like you know where you at and you know where you going. Your head is on straight. And this person thinks you leveling up, okay? And they really believe that you level up because, you know, you get yourself out of situations that no longer serve you. You don't stay stuck. You know how a woman be like, I'm going to stay and see if I can change him. You don't do that, okay? If you a man, you don't see that. If this girl don't have the quality that you have want in a woman you be like well, i'm gonna let that i'm gonna throw that fish back okay that's a chirp chirp girl i'm gonna throw her back okay the level up for you is real a lot of people feel like scorpio your life is leveling up to a higher vibrational frequency okay and a lot of people could be praising you on that all right y'all um let me get give y'all a um, message from spirit for january 23rd january 23rd january 23rd for my scorpios a message from spirit they're saying be careful of self-sabotage so somebody could have self-sabotaged something with you okay that was in and out and it says this relationship the relationship you are in is serving to teach you something very important so whoever you fucking went they sabotage in a relationship but it's there to teach you something really important don't give so much when no one gives in return or stop taking so much and no one's not giving it back to you Taurus energy is very stubborn don't invest in people who are hot and cold and you don't really know where you stand with them it makes you feel unstable when this person just feels unstable so that's why they do that to other people i love you guys and i'll see y'all later bye everything we go through in life is for a reason so they say i feel like it's true though you know what i'm saying